Welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show you the flip through of my Inktober X Suit 2018 sketchbook. This is the front page so it doesn't count into the 31 pages. As you probably know if you watched my other Inktober videos, I followed the official prompts but I added my own theme, Suits, hence why it's called Inktober X Suits. So without further ado, let's get started. And I'm gonna have to turn this around often uh, because you know some of some of my drawings are in landscape and some in portrait. So this one is in portrait. The prompt was poisonous, so I drew, uh, you know, because my theme own theme was suits. I immediately thought of like a special agent poisoning a drink, and there will be a follow up to this little story in in another drawing. So yeah, this is the first one for poisonous. The next one. The word was the prompt was tranquil, and I decided to draw this little uh, guy, you know, in his tranquil space uh, with all his plants. He's really enjoying himself after a hard day's work uh, with some whiskey and all his plants. <laughs> the reason why there are no washes on this one is because I discovered that the ink wasn't waterproof. And I had already inked all, all the lines, so if I if I used washes, everything would wash out. You know, the lines would bleed everywhere, and it would just be a monster mess. So I chose to just let it be like this, a, a simple line art. This character I've drawn a couple of times now, and I really like him. And you know, he doesn't really have a story other than he loves plants and he works hard as a businessman. So anyway, let's move on to the next one. The prompt was roasted, so the only thing I could think of was barbecue and roasting meat. So that's what this guy's doing, and of course he's wearing a suit underneath the apron because the theme was also wearing suits. I'm not really that happy with this one. I think the steam effect is pretty, pretty fun, but you know the rest is just not really that good. <laughs> uh, the next prompt was spell. And I'll just turn the book around. So I tried to draw this businessman with long flowing hair uh, making a spell and it it went pretty okay except for the fact that his face is covered in this magic effect I tried to make. It wasn't supposed to cover his face but you know stuff happens when you do magic. <laughs> I have a whole thing about magical businessmen uh, like I want to make a series of magical businessmen like businessmen as magical girls basically you know doing the pose and having the little something that is magical like it could be a fountain pen or a book like this one or you'll see at least one more magical businessman in, in this uh, sketchbook and then maybe if I remember to I will make that series of magical businessmen that I really want to do someday someday Okay, next one. Next one, the prompt was chicken. So I drew a rooster. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense, but that's what I came up with. And I'm actually really happy with this one. I think the, the details in the feathers just work really well. And the dark ink for the body and then the light striped suits, I don't know. Everything is just clicking on this one. It's really, I'm really happy with it. So. Not much more to say about that. The next one, oops, sorry. <laughs> the next one, the prompt was drooling, and this is the continuation of the first one where the agent, you know, poured poison into the drink. He's the agent is walking out, and the target has drunk, has drunk the drink. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. He has, yeah, he has, in, in, he has ingested the drink and now he's dying from the poison in it. So that was just a tiny little story in the Inktober, you know, sketchbook. I found that really interesting that I, and maybe, maybe this October I will make an entire story from the prompts, but that's up in the air still. Okay, next one. The next one. The prompt was exhausted, so I just imagined a businessman working hard 
even in his bed with his, his computer and he worked so hard that he fell asleep. So that's the basic idea behind this one. Not much else to say. And here come the other magical businessmen. The prompt was star and I just couldn't help myself and I had to make a starry suit and just make him so fabulous. He's so fabulous, I really love it. Uh, I'm probably gonna draw this dude again sometime. I really like him. He's so fabulous, I can't. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's move on. Next one. The prompt was precious. I had my own theme that was suits and so something you can wear with a suit is cufflinks and these are some very precious cufflinks. I tried to make it so that it would look like a gemstone. It worked alright in this one, but this one just became not as pretty as this one. But oh well, I was experimenting and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Let's move on. Okay, the prompt for this one was flowing and I don't even know. <laughs> this one is, is not very... I hate this part. I was trying to make his hair like flow away in the background and turn in, into like nothing, turn into this mist, but I clearly failed totally. Um, so this is just a, a man in a suit floating and there's something musical about this. I can't really explain it, but maybe it's because I subconsciously was thinking about the way you feel when you listen to some really good music. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm blabbering on. Let's, let's move on to the next one. Which was cruel. The prompt was cruel. And it's a pretty basic story in this one. You know, we've got the, the man uh, stepping on the lesser man. <laughs> Can you really say that? That came out wrong. <laughs> um, you know, it's just like... Yeah, I don't know. It may be a... a an allegory for a system where you know the ones with power step on the ones who don't have so much power. I really love this one because of the gradients I made. I made two gradients, you know, this one goes from light to dark and this one goes from light from dark to light and I really think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> so um, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we have a landscape one. Go. This one, the prompt was whale, so I thought of a narwhal, and I made a narwhal in business hybrid in a suit. <laughs> Sorry, I made a narwhal businessman hybrid in a suit and some jellyfish. So I really love what the ink did here. It's more the ink than me that made this interesting uh, pattern. So, so that's pretty cool. Let's move on. The prompt for this one was guarded, and you know, this guy, he's guarded by his two big dogs. So that's pretty simple, not much to talk about there. The next one, the prompt was clock, and I literally drew a clock, and then I drew this businessman hanging from it, and you can see when the time goes, he will slowly fall off, because he won't be able to hold on to it anymore. It's a drawing about how stressful life can be and you know how you can feel that time is just running out and you don't get to do all the things you want to do because you don't have enough time. And how you can be controlled by the clock. Uh, yeah, that's blah, 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 blah. blah. Sorry, <laughs> next one. Okay. The uh, prompt for this one was weak, and I don't know, this is pretty much up to interpretation. My interpretation is that he has like a mental, uh, he's mentally sensitive or he's some demons in his past or something that makes him weak when he thinks about. That's why he has this monster thing coming out of, of his back. Next one. Okay, 
this one, the prompt was angular, and I just made a suit with a lot of angle shapes on it, or you could also call them triangles if you really want to be specific. Specific. <laughs> um, so that's pretty simple. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. This one is also a hardworking businessman, and his feet are sw swollen for an entire day's work. So he sits down and takes off his shoes and massages his feet, and that feeling is just so great. <laughs> you know, when you get home from work and just get to throw off your shoes and just let your feet breathe. So that's him enjoying that little moment. The next prompt was bottle. Yes, the next prompt was bottle. So I drew, I painted a um, man in a suit, or a person in a suit, um, painting on the color of it from a big bottle, I think. It's a little silly, but I thought the idea was pretty cool at the time. Next one. The next one, there's the prompt was scorched, so I do a person who has been in a who has burn scars all over their face, you know, for they have been scorched by fire. So I think this turned out really great. I really like the effect I managed to make with the ink. I think it looks really good, and I got him to look like the scar had closed his eye and that his ear was burned a little bit off. I really like this one. Next one, the prompt was breakable. I like this one a lot too. It's pretty simple symbolism that, you know, his heart got broken and he's breakable. Um, yes, I really like this one, so, but let's move on. Um, oh, we've got a landscape one. This one, the prompt was drain and it's showing how you know, the computer and phone is draining him, and his youth is uh, wilting, like the blossoms he's holding that are wilting down, and pretty sad, but <laughs> yeah, so so that's the, something down here is draining him, like the computer and the phone work, and stuff like that. This one, the prompt was, excuse me? The prompt was expensive, and it's just a person loving their expensive watch and rings and stuff. <laughs> I really made those lips very kissy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's silly. Um, so the next one, the prompt was mud, um, and it's a businessman in a suit running after somebody he's obviously angry about something and he's in mud for some reason so it splashes up of his fine nice suit and ruins it that's yeah this one is not that great this one the prank was chop and you, as you can see he's about to chop his head up <laughs> so that's more of that um, secret agents ish story like you know, now he's killing another guy. I don't know. I don't know if it's the same guy, but you know, secret agent theme pops up at the time, all the time in these drawings. <laughs> anyway, not much to say. In this drawing, the prompt was prickly, so a beard when you kiss it can feel prickly, so that's what I drew. And paint it and I really like it I think it's pretty cute so but not much to say about this for this one the prompt was stretch and you can see this is a person stretches stretching to reach another person who is just walking not much to say about this for this one for this one, the uh, prompt was thunder, which is a sound, so it was hard, you know, 
it was really hard to figure something out so I just went with the literal lighting, lightning idea and this is just a guy in a suit having a really really bad day he's angry about something <laughs> he's so angry that you know he has this cloud of lightning and storm around his face so not much else to say about that with this one the prompt was gift and it's just a person in a suit coming with a bouquet of flowers for someone so it's a gift it's pretty literal not much to say for this one the uh, prompt was double and it's this person who in a suit of course who found a double-headed rose and he's wearing a double-breasted suit so that was just pretty boring interpretation but I couldn't figure something else out this one the prompt was jolt which is like when you get startled like whoop, that was a jolt so it's a movement which is pretty hard to describe in, in drawing but you imagine somebody coming up to his back and putting the gun there and he's gonna go like whoop, and that's the jolt <laughs> okay it's a bad drawing because I have to explain it <laughs> so but that's that and then we come to the last one for this one the prompt was sliced so I just sliced up a person in a suit I think it's pretty cool the way this turned out so yeah I'm pretty happy with that and then there are just two empty pages because there were more than 32 pages in this but that's it for my Inktober 2018 Inktober X suit um, I'm really happy I made it through I'm really proud I really like having this full sketchbook to look through <laughs> that's really cool and I'm happy that I chose my own theme I hope you enjoyed this look through my Inktober X suit 2018 sketchbook and if you did please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from me I am done with Inktober 2018 now finally <laughs> It's been like half a year since then, but you know, life happens. I just want to say thank you for watching and have a really nice day. Goodbye.